Subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and activate the bell. Modas, Navio Anglo Saxao, Beras de Auro e Artefatos Tracios. Algumas das mais importantes descobertas arqueológicas da historia forum fitas por pessoas commons, ao acaso. Eight tesouros valiosos encontrados de manera curiosa. One, Tesauro de Modas anti gas. Discoveries of impressive treasures are also happening in Brazil and recently. A resident of the municipality of Collars, in Para, was responsible for finding a treasure, consisting of hundreds of gold and bronze coins, dated from the 19th century, in the garden of her house, in January this year. The items were considered rare and important for the history of the region, dating back to the period of the United Kingdom of Portugal, Brazil and Algarve. The story, however, did not end well for the owner of the house. She moved after having her home invaded by people looking for more valuable artifacts in her backyard. Two, Sutton Hoo's treasure. In 1939, widow Edith Pretty decided to excavate her land, known as Sutton Hoo, in England, with the help of the self-taught archaeologist Basil Brown. What they found was considered one of Britain's most important treasures. The main discovery was a long ship, which was more than 25 meters long. After analysis, it was possible to determine that it was an Anglo-Saxon vessel. In addition, it was considered the largest burial of an Anglo-Saxon ship ever found in the history of archaeology. 3. Millionaire treasure hidden in a home. A man, who was not identified, received a home as a family heirloom, located in the Normandy region, in 2016. What he did not expect was that he would find a treasure valued in millions hidden in furniture, floors, tables and even in the garden of the residence. The new owner of the house discovered that his ancestors had acquired gold during the 1950s and 1960s. The treasure was valued at 3.5 million euros. The problem, however, was that the man had to pay inheritance taxes, losing more than half the value of the discovery. Four, treasure at the bottom of the drawer. Retired marketing director Emil Nadell is an enthusiast of relics and antiques. In 2015, he went to a garage sale where he bought a dresser, which had three drawers, made of wood and featuring a marble, for $100. What he did not expect was that he would find, at the bottom of the third drawer, a secret opening that contained an impressive treasure. There were dozens of old items, such as rings, diamonds, gold and American Civil War objects, such as military identification tags. Nadell, however, returned the discovery to its owner. I bought the dresser drawers. I didn't buy these things, he said at the time. 5. Varna Necropolis. It was in 1972 that an excavator worker ended up discovering one of Bulgaria's most important treasures. During his work in an industrial zone, Rachel Marinov found the site that would come to be known as the Varna Necropolis, a remarkable archaeological site. The site proved to be one of the richest necropolises in the country, analyzed by researchers over the years. 294 different tombs were identified and, inside them, were still objects of gold, copper, ceramics and obsidian, forming truly priceless treasures. Six, Tesauro Tracio de Rogazin. In the village of Rogazin, Bulgaria, tractor operator Ivan Dimitrov was developing an irrigation system for his garden in 1985 when he came across numerous valuable objects. Early on, he found dozens of ancient vases, but with the help of archaeologists, this increased even more. In the end, the treasure was considered the greatest discovery of the century, consisting of 165 containers, including 108 bottles, 55 jars and 3 bowls. 
They were probably brought together by a family who lived in the region throughout the 4th and 5th centuries BCE and represent scenes from Thracian and Greek mythology. Seven, the UK's greatest Anglo-Saxon treasure. In 2009, Terry Herbert decided to use a metal detector in an area near the small village of Hammerwich in the United Kingdom. He hoped to find some ancient artifact, but ended up finding 244 objects made of gold just in the beginning. After archaeological excavations, the treasure consisted of more than 3,500 articles. Most items were manufactured during the 6th and 7th centuries. Many of the objects were military and religious, but there were also some common artifacts. The treasure includes swords, helmets, cufflinks, gold swords, crosses, vases, kitchen utensils, among others. Eight, Panagirish treasure. The brothers Pavel, Petko, and Mihail Dikov were on a common workday in 1949. They were digging a well in the factory yard that were working to fill it with clay when they found rare objects. In the city of Panagirisht, Bulgaria, they had discovered valuable gold items. There were nine pieces, four rhymes, three rhythmic jugs, a rhythmic amphora and a large patera, a kind of shallow bowl. The items are believed to date from the late 4th century BC and mid 3rd century BC, belonging to the period that Thracians dominated the region. O. S. Ermaus Pavel, Petko e. Mihail Dikov, Estevam M. Um Dia Kamum de Trabalho M. 1949, Els Estevam Cavando Um Poco no Patio da Fabrica que Trabalhavam para Print lo Com Argila Quando Encontram Objetos Raros. Na Cidade de Panagirisht, na Bulgaria, Els Tinum Descoberto Itens de Auro Valiososos. Aram Nove Picas, Quatro Rimas, Tres Jaros Ritmicos, Yuma Anfora Ritmica e Yuma Grand Patera, Yuma Espasi de Tigela Rasa. Acredita C. K. A. Sitens Datum do Final do Seculo 4 A. C. E. Medos do Seculo 3 A. C., Pertensendo ao Periodo K. A. Tracios Diminivum Arijo.